access basketball equipment and materials. So for our basketball court, the playing floor surface is made of either wood or maple and it has to be flat and rectangular in shape. And the court is a flat, hard surface, free from obstructions. It is 28 meters long and 15 meters wide, measured from the inner edge of the boundary line. And the next one is the ball. It is the most visible equipment in the game of basketball. And there are different types of basketball used in different leagues. And it is usually made of leather, rubber, or any synthetic material, but it has to be inflated properly. The next one is the whistle. In basketball, whistles are only used by referees and are used to signal the start of play, end of the play, a foul, or a timeout. The referee may also use the whistle to give short notice before a dead ball period ends, such as to break the teams up from their huddle during a timeout. So next is the scoreboard. Scoreboard displays the time left in the period and running scores of both teams. And a scoreboard can be either digital or manual. A scoreboard is a large board for publicly displaying the score in the game. And most levels of sport from high school and above use at least one scoreboard for keeping score, measuring time, and displaying statistics. Then we have the player's uniform. So it consists of jersey preferably sleeveless, shorts, and shoes. And all teams wear their own specific uniform. And then we also have protective gears and accessories. So the first is the goggles, and these are used for protecting against eye injuries. Then we have the face mask. It is used to help protect the affected area and avoid another hit. And then we also have mouth guards. It is worn to protect the teeth and gums. So mouth guards are worn to absorb the impact of an accidental hit to the face. And then we also have knee pads. It is used to absorb impact from the high-speed collisions and the court that can result in bruises, abrasions, or even broken bones. And then the headband. It is used to absorb the sweat from their forehead. And then we also have arm sleeves. It is used to provide compression that reduces swelling. It also increases blood flow and reduces fatigue. 